Prince Harry and Meghan Markle yesterday returned to Sydney just in time to watch the final day of the Invictus Games before heading to New Zealand for the last leg of the Commonwealth Tour. On the twelfth day of their trip, the royal couple have enjoyed a relatively calm schedule after undergoing busy programme in the Pacific region. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at the wheelchair basketball final just after the match started at 2.10 p.m., receiving a standing ovation from the crowd. Pregnant Meghan went on court to greet players from the Netherlands and USA teams after the final whistle and one cheeky Dutch player kissed her on the cheek. The bold move was technically a breach of protocol because the correct way for men to greet a member of the royal family is with a neck bow, from the head only, but informal Meghan touched the player on the shoulder and smiled as he kissed her. The Duchess was glowing in a $550 maroon crepe knit wrap top by Australian designer Scanlon Theodore. She wore a Remembrance Day poppy on her left side and paired the top with black tapered trousers and high heels. Harry donned a black Invictus Games polo shirt to show his support for the athletes along with grey trousers and brown shoes. Dozens of fans grabbed their phones and cameras to snap photos of the royal couple as they made their way down the steps between the stands to their seats, while others shook Harry's hand. They didn't join Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Defence Minister Christopher Pine, and retired footballer David Beckham and Ian Thorpe in a reserved area, instead sitting with a group of uniformed soldiers. Beckham, who also attended the athletics on Friday night, was accompanied by his youngest son, Cruz, 13, but was without his wife, Victoria Beckham. The couple handed out the gold and silver medals after the match, which was won by the U.S. Team 29-17. Meghan bent down to loop the medals over the American players' necks and shook their hands alongside Harry. The royal couple will later attend the closing ceremony where they will both make speeches, as Harry did at the opening a week ago. Harry, who created the games for wounded veterans after his time in the British Army, will likely take time out to meet some of the 500 competitors from 18 countries, as he did last weekend. Beckham, an ambassador for the games, has spoken of the power of sport. He said, I know how sport can change people's lives, I know how sport has a real power to improve people's lives in many different ways. It's been such an emotional week for everyone involved. 500 competitors, over 1,000 family members is such a special thing. These people have lived through difficult situations, and to see them perform in front of such an amazing crowd is really incredible. The power of sport really shines through. Life-changing experiences, it's what it's all about. Later today, as the Invictus Games draws to a close for another year, the pair will take part in its closing ceremony. The Duke will speak at the closing ceremony before the couple head to New Zealand for the final leg of their 16-day tour which has also seen them visit Fiji and Tonga.